There was a video out of me jokingly saying that 47% of the country will vote for Obama because he'll give them free stuff in exchange for not working. Well, it was not elegantly stated. I was speaking off the cuff at a fundraiser for white people. Now, perhaps you don't understand what off the cuff means. I'd like to give you a little example of speaking off the cuff. If you could just turn off the camera. Uh, it is off, sir. I see a red light. That's the freedom light. Excellent. Okay. Off the cuff. Here we go. Half the country are freeloading, retarded minorities having extravagant ramen noodle parties. They've got unlimited ketchup packets and duck sauce. Now, this is all paid for with your tax dollars. Not too much of my tax dollars, because I don't pay that much. It's my reward for working hard and pulling myself up by my rich father's bootstraps. Now, here's the deal. 47% of Americans will vote for Obama no matter what, because he's got a great jump shot. Uh, he speaks jive like they do. He moonwalks. Now, these brown moonwalking types that walk among us are shapeshifters. You never know what they're going to do. And uh, some of them are brown because they're foreign, and some are brown because they're just poor and dirty. Either way, I don't want them on my team, and they're not going to vote for me. Okay, let's go back to on the cuff. Turn the camera on, please. Okay, ask me a question. What's your goal for America? Great question. Okay, I want to help all Americans have a bright, prosperous future. I want a society of hardworking, free people. Ah, you know what? Boring snoozapalooza. Let's go back to off the cuff, huh? Turn the camera off again. All right. <clears throat> Looks like everyone's got their red freedom lights on. Good. Give me a topic. Immigration. If you're brown, you're going down. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Hispanics. You can't feed them after midnight because they'll multiply and take over your town on Christmas Eve. Whew! Finally said it. <laughs> Isn't that the plot of Gremlins? I don't know. I don't watch movies made by Jews, which is to say I don't watch movies. Oh, off the cuff is so freeing. Off the cuff is the stuff. Off the cuff is the stuff. Okay, but let's get back to business. Turn the cameras back on. Next topic. On the cuff. What about your comments on the Israel-Palestine conflict? Uh, yes. Uh, I said that I didn't think peace was possible because there's a lack of a... Uh, uh, let's go off the cuff! Okay, look, I did see one white Christian film called Star Wars. Now, I watched it because I thought it had something to do with Ronald Reagan, but it turned out to be a heck of an allegory for our Middle Eastern situation. Now, you've got this great white crusader by the name of Luke Skywalker, who on one side is surrounded by sand people, Palestinians, and Jawas on the other side, Jews. Now, sand people are there cooking their weird smelling food, hitting you with sticks if you go near their town. Well, the Jawas are busy trying to Jawa you down, overcharging you for sand speeders and a cut rate version of R2D2. So, what did Luke do? He got the hell out of there, which is what America should do, and then he tried his darndest to destroy the big black dictator, Darth Vader. Remind you of anyone? You know, I wish this had been on the cuff. Uh, we were filming, sir. Great. Well, now that we've cleaned that little misunderstanding up, I'm sure it's going to be smooth sailing all the way to the White House. It's going to be a Rocktober and a November to remember. Now, I'm going to the country club. Drinks are on me. Who's coming? Just kidding. It's for whites only. <laughs> God bless America.